I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist, and in today's session of Subaru School, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Subaru's EyeSight Driving Assist technology. Subaru's EyeSight Safety Technology and Driving Assist technology use these three color stereo EyeSight cameras to search the roadway ahead of you for pedestrians, cyclists, road lines, and other vehicles. From the inside, these three black boxes are those EyeSight cameras that I just showed you on the outside. And they're always scanning left and right ahead of you, looking for pedestrians, road lines, cyclists, and other vehicles. One of my favorite parts of the EyeSight driving assist technology is the adaptive cruise. So we have the cruise control button here, which is the top right button of the steering wheel. When I turn it on, I then get an image of the Forester, and you're going to notice that there's going to be some lines there. There's one to four bars. Now that's the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you follow at while using cruise control. And you can decrease the follow distance. You can follow closer by pressing the down arrow here all the way down to one and all the way back up to four or any in between. So when you turn on the adaptive cruise, we have the button on the steering wheel or the toggle and to set your cruise, you set that you pull down. It does show us down here in green what speed we've set the cruise to in addition to our actual speed. And if you look carefully, you can see it sees the vehicle ahead of us on the road. Four bars, which is what I have the cruise control speed set to, or the distance, sorry, is about 150 to 180 feet. So that's accurate. Now, if I increase the speed, it doesn't matter. I've got it set to 121 for cruise. We're only going 102 kilometers an hour because the vehicle ahead of us is going 102 kilometers an hour. So as they slow down, we will also slow down. If I wanted to follow closer, I can decrease and do that, but obviously at this speed, that's unsafe. We're not gonna do that. You'll also notice, and I don't, it is kind of hard to see from the passenger seat, but there is a little green LED displaying on the windscreen. That is letting us know that the EyeSight cameras can see the vehicle ahead of us. So if there's no one there, it's not going to be there. As soon as it detects someone or an object, a vehicle, it's green. So this person's slowing down a little bit. If you check in here at our Speedo, it says we're doing 93 and it still sees the vehicle ahead of us. That's one of the major improvements of this updated EyeSight safety system. Wider field of view for exactly situations like this. So if the person ahead of us had slowed down going into town and had come to a complete stop, we also would have slowed down and come to a complete stop, but we would have been pretty close to their bumper, like three, three and a half feet off it. So I don't recommend that. It's not meant for stop and go driving, but it will bring you to a stop if you let it. Another portion of the EyeSight Driving Assist is lane centering. So it works above 60 kilometers an hour. You turn that on, you get a little image of a steering wheel in green, and you'll notice there's two green lights on the windscreen that indicates that both road lines can be seen. It'll actually take us through this corner. Now, this is not meant to be hands-free. I do this all the time demonstrating it. It's actually gonna get mad at me here. It said keep hands on steering wheel, but it helps keep you centered in your lane, which results in less fatigue because you're not making those micro corrections. So I'll show you on this straight stretch here. And this works much better with cruise control engaged. If we start drifting to our left, it's actually gonna correct us and move us back to the center of the lane. So you can overpower it if you need to, but it just helps make gentle steering corrections. You're gonna notice it's not gonna rip the wheel out of my hand, but it just keeps us nice and centered. So it's easy to overpower the lane centering if you had to dodge a pedestrian, a deer, a moose, another vehicle. So lane centering's active, it'll make our little corrections. And of course I'm gonna shoulder check, but it's gonna get mad at me here. It beeps at me and it flashes the LEDs up front and it disables lane centering when I do that. Now, if you're going out to pass someone, you're using cruise control and you've got lane centering on, as soon as I put my turn signal on, it disables it and no alerts. So it's intelligent in that regard. Just a quick refresher after the live action driving there. So we've got our eyesight cameras that are looking for cyclists, road lines, pedestrians, and other vehicles. We were talking about the adaptive cruise today. So when you turn on cruise, press the button, you get the images of, or well, the distance markers ahead of the Forester there. 
Four bars is the maximum. It's a ratio, four bars at 100 kilometers an hour. You'll follow at roughly 150 to 180 feet. If you want to decrease the follow distance each time you press this down arrow, one of those lines is gonna disappear. And you can increase it back after that. The lane centering, turn on. You get the image of the steering wheel in the hands. It works best when paired with the cruise control. When the eyesight cameras can see the road lines on either side above 60 kilometers an hour. Those gray lines will turn the same white as the distance markers. So instead of being gray, they'll be white, just like those distance markers and the images of the hands there. And it will give you gentle steering input to keep you centered in your lane, not hands-free driving tech. Do not take your hands off the wheel like I showed. It will help take you through corners. It will shut off, and I don't know if the camera caught it or not. It will flash. Put your hands back on wheel. If you don't, it shuts that off and into the ditch you'll go. That's a little warning. Don't use this as hands-free driving tech. It's a nice assist. That is a quick look at Subaru's EyeSight driving safety technology. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. If you guys have any questions about anything you saw in this session of Subaru School, or you'd like me to elaborate on something or show an additional feature or something to that effect that I didn't elaborate on, please put it in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk soon.